building remains without the family's permission. Now another family says they're confused about where their loved one was buried. Charles Schuler ordered a grave marker at Crestlaw Memorial Gardens for his wife of more than 40 years after she died in May of last year. Now, 10 months later, they still don't have that grave marker. And to make matters worse, he says his wife is buried in the wrong spot. Mm -hmm. The family alerted WIS and we got them answers. Our Nick Neville has been investigating this case. And Nick, obviously, anytime you're dealing with grief, something like this just complicates that. And part of the frustration is they just felt like no one cared until they were able to reach out to you. Right, Judy. So Charles Schuler tells me that it's really been a year of frustration and turmoil trying to get answers and also constantly getting what he says is the runaround from these cemetery employees. He's also saying that there's really been no explanation as to why his wife isn't buried where he wants her to be. A former employee telling me that this case isn't unique, describing a culture of what she calls mismanagement. Well, an attorney says that Crestlawn isn't handling burials with the degree of care that's necessary. A tale as old as time. Man meets woman, they fall in love and build a beautiful life together. For Charles and Barbara Schuler, married for almost 50 years, it was everything they dreamed of. Everybody that knew her liked her. She was just a perfect woman. That's all I can tell you. She was perfect. Barbara, always the planner, bought two burial plots at Crestlawn Memorial Gardens in Orangeburg, just a short drive from their home, so she and Charles could be buried near her family. When she passed last May, it hit Charles and his two children hard. She called me all the time. So I struggle with that. I, I know my dad does. My brother does. Imagine their frustration when Charles paid for a marker for his wife's grave, and 10 months later, it hasn't arrived. I don't think nobody cares, because like I said, I've asked four different managers there about the monument. None of them never gave me a straight answer. It's not complete. And it, even though when it is complete, it's always going to linger in the back of our mind. Charles says the excuses kept getting stranger. One time they told me the plant blew up. A few months back, for the first time, Charles notices fresh dirt. Another person was buried to the left of his wife, where he was supposed to be. I found a picture of the monument, and whenever I looked at it, I was supposed to be on the left side, and my wife's on the right side. Well, on the left side where I'm supposed to be, another guy was buried there about a month ago. Fed up with months of no answers, WIS went to the cemetery with the Schulers in March. An employee had a map in hand and appeared to be confused about the layout. It's the cemetery's job to know who goes where. And if if they can't do that, then I don't know what to say. They, they need, they're in the wrong business. That employee says the Schuler's garden is numbered right to left instead of left to right. Due to, quote, confusion on either Schuler's part or the cemeteries, Barbara was placed in what Charles claims is the wrong spot. Charles did authorize this burial, the cemetery says. Well, the man's buried over here, and this one too. Now an employee says the cemetery is implementing policies to ensure there's no possibility someone could be buried in the wrong spot. That includes family verification and three separate sets of eyes reviewing the plot before a burial. But a former employee says that won't do much good. There's no intense training that is needed. The average person just can't walk up the street and go mark a burial spot. You really have to really know what you're doing. The Schulers are not alone in their confusion. A family filed a lawsuit in February alleging a service for their loved one was held at the wrong Crestlawn burial chamber. Then they say the cemetery moved their loved one's remains to the correct location without telling the family. I do think there's some issues with management, um, and I do think there's been, a, there's been a lot of negligence, gross negligence. And, and it's happening in a situation where these people are very, are very vulnerable position. As that family searches for answers, Charles is now faced with an eternity in a plot where he doesn't want to be. It wasn't what I wanted. It wasn't what, what she would have wanted, but I got no other choice. I wanted to be on the left because I'd be closer to her heart.
And Faithful Heritage Holdings, the company that owns Crestlawn, wouldn't comment on this story. The Schulers say that the cemetery rush ordered a new marker with the names flipped, but that could take another six months. Judy, Hannah. And so what do the Schulers plan to do next? I mean, obviously this has just been um, a heartbreaking experience and so frustrating. Mm -hmm. Right, and not exactly the outcome that they were hoping for. So right. they actually filed a complaint there is a board that regulates and operates these cemeteries. So they filed a complaint with those individuals last month with the Perpetual Care Cemetery Board. And again, that is really one of the only ways that they can hold these folks accountable here. Charles also got a call from them this week and they said they're gonna be looking into this to see if there are any potential violations. We'll of course keep you updated on what they find. Live in the studio, Nick Neville, WIS News 10. Thank you.